Good day. Welcome to Teacher Ariel TV. Matatag Curriculum, Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 3, Day 1 and 2. Determine the sum, difference, product, and quotient of two numbers. We have here 12 and 2. First, determine the sum. 12 plus 2 equals 14. Let's us find the difference. 12 minus 2 equals 10. 12 times 2. So the answer is 24. And determine the quotient. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Another 15 and 5. Let us find the sum. 15 plus 5 equals 20. Let us find the difference. 15 minus 5 equals 10. Let us find the product. 15 times 5 equals 75. Let us find the quotient of 15 and 5. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Another, 20 and 4. Let us find the sum of 20 and 4. 20 plus 4 equals 24. Let us find the difference. 20 minus 4 equals 16. Let us find the product. 20 times 4 equals 80. Let us find the quotient. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Equivalent number facts refer to number sentences that yield identical numerical outcomes or results when computed despite of variations in the arrangement or composition of numbers and operations. Example, 9 plus 3 equals 12 and 7 plus 5 equals 12. Thus, 9 plus 3 equals 7 plus 5. Another, 27 minus 12 equals 15. And 30 minus 15 equals 15. Thus, 27 minus 12 equals 30 minus 15. Another, 5 times 4 equals 20. And 2 times 10 equals 20. Thus, 5 times 4 equals 2 times 10. Another, 15 divided by 3 equals 5 and 40 divided by 8 equals 5. Thus, 15 divided by 3 equals 40 divided by 8. Another, 9 plus 3 equals 12 and 18 minus 6 equals 12. Thus, 9 plus 3 equals 18 minus 6. Next, determine the value of n in the number sentence. 8 plus 12 equals n times 4. Solution. 8 plus 12 equals n times 4. So we are going to add 8 plus 12 equals 20 equals n times 4. To get the missing factor, 20 divided by 4 equals n. So the answer is 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So the answer is 5. Therefore, n equals 5. Another, 
64 minus 8 equals 25 plus n. Solution 64 minus 8 equals 25 plus n. So 64 minus 8 equals 56 equals 25 plus n. To get the missing addend, 56 minus 25 equals n. So the answer, 56 minus 25 equals 31. Therefore, n equals 31. Another, find the value of n so that the number sentence is true. So we have here number 1. 27 minus 6 equals n times 3. So the answer is 7. Because 7 times 3 equals 21. And 27 minus 6 equals 21. Number 2. n divided by 7 equals 12 minus 8. So the answer is 28. Because 28 divided by 7 equals 4. And 12 minus 8 equals 4. Number 3, 45 divided by n equals 19 minus 4. So the answer is 3. Because 45 divided by 3 equals 15. And 19 minus 4 equals 15. Number 4, 8 times 9 equals 6 times n. So the answer is 12. Because 8 times 9 equals 72, and 6 times 12 equals 72. Number 5, 34 minus n equals 89 minus 78. So the answer is 23. Day 3 and 4. I have here at table 1. Study the following. We have your addition. So the number sentence 13 plus 2 equals 15 and 2 plus 13 equals 15. So this is commutative property of addition. States that changing the order of the addends does not change the sum. Multiplication 5 times 6 equals 30 and 6 times 5 equals 30. So this is commutative property of multiplication. It states that changing the order of the factors does not change the product. I have here the table 2. Operation, addition, I have here the number sentence. So this is associative property of addition. It states that changing the grouping of addends does not change the sum. Next, I have here the operation multiplication, and I have here the number sentence. So this is associative property of multiplication. States that changing the grouping of factors does not change the product. Let's answer this. Fill in the blanks to make each number sentence true. Number one. 13 plus 19 equals blank plus 19. So the answer is 13. Number 2. The answer is 5. Number 3. So the answer is 9 and 12. Next. Find the value of n in the following number sentences. n plus 12 equals 32 equals 12 plus n. So the answer is 20. Number 2. So the answer is 3. Number 3. So the answer is 9. Number 4. So the answer is 6. Number 5. 
So the answer is 9. Day 4. Complete the sentence. Next, formative assessment. Fill in the missing numbers so that the number sentence is correct. So I have here the answer key. Which time, let's answer this. Fill in the missing number. You only have 5 seconds to answer. Start now. Time's up. The answer is 18. Number 2. Time's up. The answer is 21. Number 3. Time's up. The answer is 12. Number 4. Time's up. The answer is 2. Number 5. Time's up. The answer is 28. Number 6. Time's up. So the answer is 15. Number 7. Time's up. The answer is 27. Number 8. Time's up. The answer is 9. Number 9. Time's up. The answer is 234. Number 10. Time's up. So the answer is 22. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.